Hey dolls! It's Amanda31409 and I'm back with another monthly favorites video. I think, no, I did a Christmas favorites instead of a December favorites. So it's a new year. We got some new products. I'm very excited about some of these. So yes, let's go ahead and get on into my January favorites. The first product we have that I have truly actually been loving is a sponsored product. They are the sponsor of this video, but I have to tell you guys, I genuinely do love this thing. I have used it three times now over the course of this month since I have received it, and I love it. Okay, so as a lot of you guys know, I have not been sleeping well. I got sick for some time, and then I just, my sleeping schedule has been all over the place, so I suffer from dark circles under my eyes because of stress and not sleeping properly and that huge mess. So when the company reached out to me and they wanted to send these to me, I figured that I could not only make use of them myself, but if I like them, I can feature them in a video and tell you guys about them if they actually do help and work. Um, so I tried this thing and it is called the V2 Code Oxygen Eye Mask. And how this works is it is an overnight treatment. So it's not just like a face mask you leave on for 10, 20 minutes and then take off. They come with six packs in here. I have used three of them already, as I mentioned, but it comes with a little pack like this and there are two little patches that you'll put under your eyes. So as you can see, here are the directions and stuff. So if you wanna pause the video, you can read more about that. But I wanted to show you guys what these things look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a pack. That's one of the negative things about these is they are so hard to open, I end up having to use scissors or my teeth every time I open them. <laughs> there we go, it worked. So here is what they look like right here. They are just white little under eye little patches. So, these things feel so cool. They're all like jiggly. They have this really cool gel on them, which is unique and different. I haven't used any beauty products with this type of like adhesive thing before. When I peel up, this is what it looks like. You can see how like flabby it is and it just stuck to my thumb. So this part right here, as I peel this off my thumb, you can see this part right here is like a gel adhesive type thing. So pretend that this is my under eye right here. When you put it on, you just place it like so. And it's gonna feel like so cold and refreshing and nice. And that's what I love about it is just that instant cold. I also love that with certain face masks, like the uh, paper face masks. I like that it's so cold when you first put it on. So you would put it on sleep with this on for eight hours and then in the morning when you wake up you literally just take this and peel it off and the gel material that is in here is supposed to activate oxygen and stuff and help your under eye bags and wrinkles fine lines and things like that and like i said these have helped me personally because i haven't been sleeping too great and my sleep schedule has been all over the place sometimes i don't even go to bed till like eight o'clock in the morning it's very, very horrible. So these have definitely helped with my dark circles. So again, that is the V2 Code uh, Oxygen Eye Mask. I'm gonna go ahead and link this in the description if you guys are interested in it at all. I guess I'll just go ahead and move on with the rest of the beauty items in here. I got this brush belt from Morphe, morphebrushes.com. Now sponsored, I paid for it with my Christmas money. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's such a cute baby pink and mind you, my brushes are dirty because I haven't cleaned them, I use them today but it is a brush belt and I don't know exactly how many different slots there are in here but there are individual compartments as well as these little pockets and this is a belt that usually makeup artists will wear if you see freelancers or people who work at Sephora or what have you doing makeup um, at makeup counters and stuff and this will be perfect if I go out of town. Sometimes when I go out of town, I stay in motels or hotels that have zero counter space. Like literally it's just a sink. 
because it's a cheap affordable motel so sometimes there's no counter space so this is amazing because then I don't have to put my brushes down on a questionable dirty hotel countertop and I know all my brushes are clean sanitary safe and I can just have them around my waist while I'm standing up at the bathroom mirror also I did get a a new uh, brush set I will link it in the description box below if I can find it as well as this roll but it was a set specifically for eyes and so it came with several different blending brushes these are some of my favorite ones right here I have been using these on my eyes to be honest you guys these brushes have changed my life just in the couple of weeks that I've used them they work so well oh my gosh I love them so much and I feel like I do blend out my shadow a lot better than I used to like a while back especially in high school but yeah so those are the Morphe brushes and then I do have another Morphe brush set that I just kind of threw in here too I will also link that down below my holy grail makeup brushes that I've ever had in my entire life and definitely definitely worth the money and for those of you who are curious, they do have vegan brush sets. One of the sets that I have in there is vegan. So again, I will link below. Now, remaining on the topic of eyes, uh, this palette. This ice cream palette from Dose of Colors. I did a video on the Dose of Colors Hidden Treasures palette when I got it. So I knew that this was going to be good quality. It was going to be pigmented. And I was so excited when I saw the pastel shades. There really need to be more pastel palettes in the world. And it's just so sad because it's like you see all of these awesome, amazing makeup brands come out with these brand new beautiful palettes. And then they're just like... The basic same shades over and over and over and that's why I'm kind of in a way getting sick of Too Faced because they just keep putting the same shades in every palette and when I saw this I was very excited because it's so unique and all of these shades are so beautiful and different all on their own I love this purple shade it is beyond beautiful and then I love the mint chip shade and then this one down here the blueberry swirl that is beautiful I'm wearing it on my face today um, or on my eyes today the sherbet shade is very gorgeous and then of course I love the hot fudge for deepening up the crease this palette overall is just beautiful in itself uh, the packaging is very cardboardy, but I'll make an exception because the front of it is just so precious. I could not stand it. This is half the reason I wanted it because it's aesthetically pleasing for me. <laughs> so yes, this is what I've been wearing on my eyes when I do my pastel eyeshadow makeup looks. And I do plan to do a tutorial with this, so if you want me to do that, give this video a big thumbs up so I know that you want one. And I also got that palette on a sale um, when they had the 20% off coupon code. I had Christmas money and I got that palette as well, so I was very excited. I was so excited. I couldn't not get that palette. Like, so when I ordered that, I also had seen this matte liquid lip all over people's Instagram pages and these makeup beauty accounts. They were wearing this shade and I fell in love with it. The model on the ad campaign for this palette was also wearing this lip color with it and it was like the most beautiful combination so I had to get this too I think they're sold out now but this is in the shade rosebud I'm not wearing it today but I will swatch it for you guys so you can see it is just a nice like um mauve shade don't mind the scratches on my hand those are from my rats um but it's just such a beautiful like deep mauve shade but it's such a natural color and I just you guys it's so pretty and I love it it's like my new favorite lipstick and the wearability with this thing is beautiful so beautiful wear it it's like eat proof amazing I just I love this and I will definitely be getting some more dose of colors matte lipsticks in the future <laughs> okay now along with beauty favorites the Jeffree Star Highlighter. I don't know if I mentioned this in a favorites before, but this is the ice cold one. Um, I will say that this product has a lot of fallout, but I love this one so much because it is super, super white. I am super, super white. You guys saw in my ColourPop haul that I need 
white highlight because otherwise it won't show up on me so I am wearing it today you can see it glistening in the ring light reflection um, <laughs> but it's so awesome you get so much product for a decent price and keep in mind that I am reviewing the product not the person even though he is very 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 controversial sometimes he makes amazing makeup products except his lip ammunition lipsticks those sucked I'll admit that those sucked if you guys want to see a full-on review or comparison video to the liquid lipsticks let me know in the comments down below but in my opinion the lip ammunitions were not his best product I'm excited for his concealer though yes. I have also been getting a ton of questions on my nail polish or where I get my nails lately I have discovered these nails from Walmart and I am obsessed with them. These are the Kiss Gel Fantasy Nails and these are about six or seven dollars at Walmart I believe. They come with the adhesive tabs so you can press them on for short-term wear or they also come with glue in the same package and you can do nail glue instead if you prefer long-term wear. I have had these for almost three weeks I want to say, two or three weeks and they held up so strongly so far. I love them. This is my second pair of this brand. And what I love about this brand in particular is they have different lengths. So as you can see, these are quote unquote real short. So you can see the length on those. They also have medium length ones, long ones, and I don't know if they have real long ones. I haven't seen them. They have a pink set, like a pastel pink set that has little cherry blossoms on it that I want to get next. These are strong. They're like strong fake nails. I find with the impress press on nails, they are really thin and flimsy. And I find that if I wear them for just a couple hours, they start popping off or splitting down the middle or bending in weird places. And these are really strong. So I do love these. Like if I'm opening up a can or just different just daily tasks where you feel like you use your nails a lot, um, they are pretty strong and I love them. So for those of you interested in my nails, these are what I I have been using. Okay, and then lately I have also been loving circle lenses. Ironically, I'm not wearing any today. That is because I had to run errands today and I didn't want to fuss with putting contacts in and everything like that. And I kind of had to rush to film, but I have finally discovered a circle lens website that is US based. I was having such problems trying to order circle lenses overseas because they would always like deny my credit card because the bank wouldn't give permission because they thought it was a sketchy site and not only that but shipping shipping takes forever when you order from overseas like three weeks to three months who knows it takes forever and I was sick of it but I wanted some super cute contact lenses so I discovered circlelensesusa.com that's literally what it's called and they're US based and I got my contact lenses that I purchased literally in less than a week and here I'll insert a photo right here when I did this look using the ice cream palette I um, wore my circle lenses that I purchased and they were kind enough to supply me with a second pair and these ones I have not yet used but these ones are beautiful they are like purple ones they are the geo brand which I trust I've gone through two other contact lens pairs that were the geo brand and I really love them it feels like you don't even wear them and this was my first time wearing circle lenses and and they were amazing. I love the quality of them. And you guys, you guys, pss, 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 I don't know how long this is going on for, but their contact lenses are on sale right now for only $16 a pair. And they are the year long ones that you wear for a year and then you dispose them after a year. So for someone to spend $40 on a pair of contacts that they have to throw away at the end of the year is kind of suckish. So the fact that they're on sale for only $16, that's why I went ahead and got them because I'm a sucker for a sale for one and two you can basically get like two pair for the price of one so head on over there check that out and I will also post the links up to these two that I have in the description box below the gray ones from the photo and the purple ones next we have my favorite phone case this month and this is my Liu Kuai case 
from Sweet Escape Deco on Instagram. I'll post her shop in the description as well as a coupon code that I have for you guys so you're, you can get some money off. But this is an adorable case that she made custom for me. I It's probably really dirty because I've literally not taken this off my phone. It feels like this whole month. I've taken it off maybe to like charge my phone with my battery charging case or something like that. I dropped it the other day though and this bow you can see it's barely hanging on you can see this bow is like barely hanging on for dear life because I was so sad I dropped it but I've been like super gluing it together a couple times and it's still holding up like it survived like a six foot drop so that's cool and my screen isn't ruined so that's a plus that's amazing drop test um, but yeah if you guys want to check out her shop I'll link everything in the description as well as a coupon and she makes her own cabochon pieces as well all right the last two things are my bunny bag it finally came in the mail um, I told you guys about this in my birthday haul video I told you guys that I ordered this off of eBay but I was still waiting for it to come in and it literally took probably a month and a half to get here so because it was shipping from super far away again referring to ordering things overseas they take forever to ship um but anyway it is so cute this bag is so precious I'll post the link to where I got this one in the description box below just remember shipping takes a super long time the pin I have on here is the famous pink drink pin from Nikki lipstick the original basically founder of the pink drink I love her shop so much and just I had to get this pin when I saw it and then this little bunny right here I got in one of my you may twins boxes so there's the backpack it's very cute it's so soft and I, one thing I want to mention is that the ears have wires in them so that they don't just flop over you can adjust like where they go and stuff which I think is really cool and they also have these in different colors as well I believe there's a white one and a black one and someone said that they saw a lilac colored one somewhere if you guys find the lilac one please leave me a link to it in the comment section because I would love a second one of these they are amazing and I plan to, once I switch to this bag, I'm going to be using this as my everyday purse. Uh, if you guys want to see an updated what's in my purse video, give this video a thumbs up for that too. Okay, and the very last thing we have are these super adorable shoes. I just got these from Walmart, so I have not even worn them yet. But I am going to put them in my favorites because I needed to tell you guys about these. They were literally only $7.00. And guys, look at how sparkly they are. So all my holosexuals out there, all my holosexuals, 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 holo, 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 holo. How do you say it? Is it holo or holo? Let me know. You guys need these in your lives. If you fit into little girl shoes, <laughs> I am usually a five or a five and a half in women's and these are a girls size three they fit me perfect and they I cannot believe that these were only seven dollars they are kind of like knockoff vans but they're so worth the seven dollars I mean they're so pretty I can't wait to pair these with all my pastel looks okay so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go now those are all my January favorites if you want to check out my other monthly favorites videos, I do have a full playlist dedicated to those. In case you missed any of the past months, a lot of those products that I have liked in the past, I still currently like and use. So feel free to check those out. With that being said, I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Right. Bye!